What is up, everybody? This is Witty Crusader, and welcome back to Sly 2, Band of Thieves. In the last episode, Neela double-crossed us, and now Sly, Marie, and Carmelita have all been captured and sent to who knows where. Now it's up to us to find them. In Chapter 4. It took a sleepless week of data crunching, but I eventually tracked down the location of my friends, locked away in the mysterious Towers of Prague. Whoa. At the moment, friend. they are the unwilling guests of Interpol's most renowned prison warden, the Contessa. While still a criminal psychology student, she entered into a whirlwind romance and married a wealthy aristocrat. Sadly, the union was short-lived, as the general suspiciously died a few weeks after the ceremony. Gee, I wonder how he the died. The widowed Contessa put her education and newly acquired estate to work by opening a criminal rehabilitation center. Wonderful. Her pioneering use of hypnotherapy has produced some good results and subsequently earned her a prominent position within Interpol. My friends are locked up somewhere in the clinic and are slated for the Contessa's good Samaritan brainwashing. If I don't bust them out soon, they'll be working a nine to five job selling shoes and I'll be out two best friends. Yes, let's break into Prague and save them in jailbreak. Yeah, if more obvious, uh, the Contessa's a black widow, so yeah, you can guess how that aristocrat suspiciously died. And there were bubbles leaking out of his uh, juice anyway. Let's go to ThiefNet. Now we can't exactly use these yet, but Adrenaline Burst will make Bentley burst as like a nice run. It'll alert guards in the area, but you'll it's like a quick dash. Atlas Strength, which I believe is useful. Which means Murray will now be able to run and jump when he's carrying people, which I'll get right now. The alarm clock, which you will also need, will Sly will lay down a clock and they'll distract a guard. Now, I was wrong. It's not a glass flask. It's a crystal flask, if you saw my last video. It's located in that small area to the right of the jungle temple, uh, below the, off the office door to Rajan's office. Okay, the golden scroll case is on an upper level to the left of the temple, which you'll need to use that tower to get to. And the uh, gilded scepter is, scepter is like right next to the left elephant tusk when you're looking outside the safe house on like a platform. So yeah, so let's get alarm clock and let's start this puppy. I should make my way over to the Contessa's house. Maybe I'll pick up a few leads on the location of Sly and Murray. Yeah, so we're on our own here. So be careful. This really does go for a grim theme. I kind of like it. And since this is, like, a prison, it'd be... It's gonna be uh, like heavily guarded. So let's and be careful here. The wolves will like that. <laughs> the wolf will pose as a statue, then it'll break free and start attacking you. And be careful, like, like that again. You can easily get get them off the bridge, but if they fall into the uh, this area, then you'll be able to because those wolves don't exactly like are knocked back, or knocked up, they're just knocked back. Be careful of this tank that circles the Contessa's house. So, yeah. I don't know what the hell I'm getting myself into. Let's Steve jump on the Contessa. I think there's more to this than just standard criminal hypnotherapy. Aha, the Never Contessa trust a spider. is out making her rounds. Wait a second. The feathers on my sleep darts vibrate near sounds. If I maintain my position on top of this parabolic dish, 
I should be able to hear that frequency at a distance. This is great! If I tag the Contessa with my darts, I'll be able to listen in on whatever she says. I might even learn where she's locked up Sly and Murray. Eavesdropping. Little old school, but it's fine. The claw gang is falling apart. The spice shipments have all but stopped. Huh. I never would have joined if I'd known it would be this easy to disrupt the plan. At least the Cooper gang is under lock and key. Their lopsided morality flies in the face of man's inherent selfishness. Ah oh, well. They'll see it my way soon enough. She's a member of the Claw Gang. See? You never trust a spider. Those fools at Interpol. They keep sending me criminals and I keep making money. How come no one ever thought of this before? I do like her design, though. Hypnotize criminals and force them to reveal where they've hidden their fortune. I'm a genius! If only I had more spice to help me with a hypnosis. Wow, she <laughs> brainwashes uh, criminals to reveal location of their loot. That is ingenious. That blasted Cooper gang! The fat one, what's his name? Murray. Yes, Murray. He'll be the first to break. I should spend a few sessions probing that feeble mind. I can only imagine the wealth that gang has accumulated over the years. You're gonna have to keep imagining. We ain't giving it up. That's like Cooper. Such a complex. Also, maybe she doesn't feel these darts. A month or two in the hole should break his spirit. Let him squat there week after week. He's seen that the guards along the wall all have motion detectors. There is no escape. Slowly, the reality of his captivity will set in, and I'll get to work on his mind. That's what you think. Inconceivable! She's no healthcare professional! Why, that's the most heinous crime I've ever heard of! Putting inmates into hypnosis so they'll tell her where they've stashed their loot! It dishonors both law enforcement and thieves at the same time. I should get to work and figure out a way to break Sly out of the hole. Yeah, honor among thieves and that whole thing. They made an entire game about it. <laughs> so now we gotta work all the way back to the safe house. Uh oh. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. I run so far hard. I run so far away. Uh oh. Oh! Careful, that train trolley thing will kill ya. Now this chapter does introduce the first of mission types that are hacking. Such as the case in the uh, near the end of Sly 1, but it's not exactly like that. It's kinda like that, but not exactly. What's this mission called? Train hack. I do like the design for the Contessa, and I actually think it's odd and kind of creative that she's like the only arachnid slash insectoid character in this whole series so far. Tray. By hacking all the terminals along the train tracks. I should be able to reverse their polarity, thereby turning the train into a giant projectile. Without question, its impact on the prison walls should create a hole large enough for Sly to escape through. And it won't raise that big of an alarm, they're just like, oh look, a train hit the side of the wall, okay. Jeez. Nothing like a good computer hack job. Need an introduction to hacking Now games. the left hand will, I'll have to hack through these barrier nodes. I should move the right analog stick in the direction I want to unleash yeah. my hacker code. I'm sure some of you find this fun. I don't exactly uh, think this is all that fun. At the same time, Fortunately, it's and shoot not, in different directions. not that recurring. It has its moments. That's one down. The train should be picking up speed. 
the bulk of it is in chapter 4 and I believe chapter 7. There we go. Speed running tactics! Woo! You can't catch this! Oh yeah. I'm the fastest tank. Four more to go. Fastest tank in the West. The easiest way to do that is just to follow this trolley track, but be careful of the trolley, like I said before. Hello, Vulture. You're a dead bird. Come on, hit the button. Thank you. Oh, boy. They're unleashing their minions! They will infinitely spawn until... You defeat this level or you die. Whatever comes first. But since this is only like the beginning of the hacking, you shouldn't have too much trouble. That should speed up the train by at least 50%. Wonderful. That uh, greatly increases the chances of getting run over. Whoa! Miss me! Do these kinds of shots. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't like tanks. Just two more terminals. Oh! Didn't see that coming. I'm roadkill. <laughs> don't worry, you don't have to rehack the first three terminals. It checks point you. Or four terminals, excuse me. It checkpoints you. But wow, I did not see that coming. See? You gotta be really careful. Unlike me. Oh no! <sighs> oh man, this is gonna give me a heart attack. <laughs> Okay. Well, there's no way to bypass, like, just go around it. They... red dots follow you everywhere. So... I think there's, like, maybe two times in Chapter 7 you'll be able to get around that, which I'll show when we get around to it. Spoiling the game too much. Yes, the train's at full speed. Now, on to reverse the field's polarity. Right here. Just so you guys know, I turned 24 on the 16th, so yeah, happy birthday to me. I get to celebrate with the big wigs. <laughs> yes, this is present day and all. And they don't notice. Yeah, there's this train in the wall. Don't totally disregard it, that's totally normal. <laughs> wall bombing. So yeah, I turned. My birthday happened to be on President's Day. <laughs> that's funny enough. I didn't really get to do much. I played the more game a little bit, not much. And I uh, had pizza, of course, and drank a little bit with my friends and my roommate. That was fun. And studied for a test I did okay All the okay guards along at. the prison wall are outfitted with a motion tracking device. There's no way for Sly to escape. Unless I take those guys out with my RC chopper. Bombs away! Whoa! Yeah. If I was the avionics package, I'm going to cry. 
Yeah, the missiles do more damage than the guards shooting at you, so be wary of that. Oh! Dang it. Oh, I didn't kill him? Getting shot all over the place. <laughs> Last guy, there you go. Now, how did he unlock that door for Sly to escape? Sly, can you read me? How I missed that sensuous voice of yours. Save the jocular comments for later. Do you see that hook above the train? Yeah. It's your only means of escape. Jump and hit the circle button to grab hold. Then swing on to the back of the train. I've already established a safe house and downloaded its GPS coordinates into your binocucom. We'll rendezvous there. Wow, you've really thought of everything. Don't I always? Yeah, you do. Thanks for busting me out. Oh, well, you know the old saying, if you can't count on a friend to bust you out of jail, what kind of a friend are they? Truer words were never said, wizard. <laughs> yeah, hopefully my friend gets to bust me out of jail, but knowing me, I probably won't be in jail in the first place. <laughs> so now we just gotta make it back without getting killed. Easier said than done. <laughs> and apparently the Contessa is the only intelligent being around this entire prison. That was kind of the recon and phase one. Okay, here's the situation. I've done some deep database crunching and figured out that Murray is doing time in cell block D. Getting him out is going to be tough. As you know, he's not very light on his feet. First, we'll need to get Murray into an isolation cell away from the other inmates. Second, I'll need you to get a sample of the Contessa's encryption algorithm. Don't worry, I'll explain later. Thank you. Third, you'll need to pickpocket a few keys from the Contessa. But watch out for her pack of bodyguards. And fourth, you'll have to deactivate her giant attack robot. I don't see no, it. Oh, really, Sly, I'm serious. The Contessa has a giant attack robot. It just looks like a water tower. Sure. Now, once you've pulled off all these jobs, we'll be ready to make a play for the big guy. A giant attack robot. I don't think this has gone that sci-fi. Nah. Call me a skeptic. Okay, let's just do, do, and do. There we go. Well, let's start with the, uh, Big House Brawl. There's only four slime missions. Actually, was it four or five? Two, three. I think there was five. Whatever. There's only slime missions here. Okay, slime. In order to get Murray out, we'll need him to get thrown into solitary confinement. That pipe will lead you to his cell block. Try to locate him and relate the plan. After that, it's all up to Murray. All right, I'm headed inside. Yeah, this is back in uh, boardroom brawl. I explained there's another mission that involves a liar of butt kickery. This is it. Which is great. I have a lot of anger issues I wish to re Murray. release. Hey, Murray! Huh? Sly? Where are you? Over here, in the back wall. Sly! I'm so glad to see you. They've been forcing me to eat meals covered in spice. And I'm feeling kind of strange. You gotta get me out of here. No problem. Bentley seems to have found a weakness in the solitary confinement cell. If you can get in a big enough fight, the guards will throw you in there. Trust me, I'm speaking from experience. Well, if you say so. 
I suppose a powerful force like the Murray could take down 50 foes. My question foes is, why they let Sly keep his to. cane? Excellent. You beat the snot out of 50 of those guys. I think guys, a normal and Bentley and incarceration, take the they take everything from you. Anyway, so yeah, let's kick the crap out of 50 people. Boom! It's wolf hunting season. In your face! Ouch! You're gonna pay for that, all of you. I'm gonna make so many wolf fur coats. I'm gonna start a fashion line, make a huge profit. I use this button to burn them all. You use the searchlights to let shoot uh, machine guns at them. You use those holes in the ground to make spikes come out and skewer them. Yeah! No, you are not using that mace. Oh yeah! I'm just getting warmed up! I feel so much better now. I'm back to my pacifistic ways. Okay, we got enough time to do one, maybe two more missions. Um, let's go inside the prison wall and do uh, lightning strike. I think that'd be a good one to do. Just cuz. In this chapter, I don't really have an order for the missions, except I like to keep one of them last. And we'll get to why... ...later. Whoa! Hey, in order to get the lightning strikes, I need to swing off those hooks. So let's go this way. Be careful in here. As you know, it is a prison, and there's so many lights, so many guards, and not enough health bar to survive. Ooh, bats! I'm gonna drive you back! Swing and miss! Home run! Okay, whoa! Ah! I have to get that clue in order to move forward. Yep, sorry. What the hell? Stupid buttons. Anyway, I'll... In the uh, clue hunt video, I'll be sure to re remind you that it's right there. Okay, Sly, that's it. The Contessa's giant attack robot. Sure. Look, buddy, with all due respect, it looks an awful lot like a water tower. Don't be fooled. That's what she wants you to think. If we try to free Murray while that thing is operational, why... What, we'll have plenty of fresh drinking water? I'm Seriously. serious, Sly. Of course. 
I do owe you one. The lightning rods around the prison are designed to draw lightning strikes away from the water tower. A giant attack robot. Uh huh. Yeah. Why is By turning red? the wheels on the rod, you should be able to redirect the electrical current away from its ground wire, rendering it useless. Follow the lightning strikes to locate all five rods. Okay, so you want me to break the ground circuit on all these lightning rods so that a bolt will strike and destroy the giant attack robot posing as a water tower. Seriously. That's an accurate summation. Now the locations of these lightning strikes, or well, lightning rods, are unknown. You just have to follow the lightning strikes. But, unfortunately, I know where they all are. Where the lightning rod starts to glow red. That means yeah. a lightning bolt is on the way. Yeah, you don't want to get shot. Nice work. That lightning rod is out of commission. Look around for lightning strikes to find the other rods. Basically, there's three around the prison walls and two outside the prison grounds. So. Just keep on lookout for that. I still don't believe that's a giant attack robot. Seriously? Oh, wait. Thank you! Ooh, a pocket watch. Now I can tell time as I'm kicking your rear. Oh, there's another one. So yeah, you want to be watchful that you don't get lightning struck, because that hurts. Boom! There's two. Fortunately, there's only five. Okay, let's... Well, there's one down there, but we'll get to that one later. Oh, don't want to fall inside. Okay, I guess I gotta go up here. Okay, it's not glowing red, so I'm safe. There we go. I've been lucky if the lightning hasn't struck me yet, but with these last two, it's gonna shock the bejesus out of me. I'll tell you that much. Okay, there's one right there. Geronimo! I've been really lucky with the lightning. Now I still wonder why is it still red? I don't get it. I don't think lightning is red. Might be white, I suppose. Ouch! That hurt. There's Run for your life! Or the wolves get ya! Afraid of the big bad wolf, and I still can't jump. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? The big bad wolf. The big bad wolf. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? So yeah, lightning is gonna strike this one consistently, because it's the only one that's operational. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's all there is to it. No. Okay, I believe you. The proof's in that pudding. Ooh, pudding does sound good right now. Okay, well that will end it for this episode. In the next one, we will continue jailbreak and see what we can do to break out the Murray. Until then, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. This is Weed Crusader signing off. I will see you guys next time.